to look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's a nice story, but George, he's always quite in sympathy with radical students or people involved in and the 1968 kind of period. I kind of thought exactly the thing. There was a sitting at some point which prevented him from giving his usual lectures in David Hume Tower or wherever it was. So he went and sat in the apparently, I'm like, he told me after, he went and sat in um, the, what used to be the staff club down in, in, in Chambers Street. And his students would come along and ask him questions about conversations with him in the staff club. Instead, which is really quite a nice. So it's almost him doing exactly what, what he wants Jardine to be, to be doing, kind of thing. Yeah. I think there's a real, well, yeah, there's, there's, there's a hunger for this. Yeah. I, 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 I like culture more and pe more people as I go through education, mm -hmm. like, uh, for example, Danny Manchester. Yeah. There's a really, really open frame of reference to. Yeah. Uh, Manchester, why you mention Manchester? Oh, no, 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 no sorry, that's across wire all this, but you know, why are you mentioning Manchester? Well, uh, Raggy's right, been running in Edinburgh and Manchester. Right. And over time, Manchester University has opened up. Mm. Yeah, brilliant opportunity. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just that in, in Manchester, that we're in a year or two ago, um, I think it was economics, students in economics. Um, raised a, a, a big fuss about it, but he wanted to, the, the courses redesigned because they were all courses inside neoliberal or, or neoclassic, whatever you want to call it, the market-based economics. Yeah. And, and, and that, um, that they wanted to look at a, a larger sense of like sort of social context of, of economics. I mean, people like Polanyi and people like, well, I mean, I suppose actually Adam Smith as well, actually, because he did precisely that. Um, but and, and, and Mark, so also anybody who's kind of looking at it from economics slightly from the outside. I don't know how they got on. I was going to ask you how they, they, they got on to that demand, but it's a very interesting demand that, I, thank you, it's a very interesting demand that actually that students themselves should be, should be raising. You know. Yeah, I, I think they're really open to it. They're really open mm -hmm. to, um, to pushing out the barriers. Like, uh, so, well, I've been, Following the work, Professor Mark Burton. Mark Burton. Burton, I mean. uh, and uh, he's, he's an economic, so he, he's, uh, he runs steady state Manchester. Yeah, so yeah. he's thinking about the steady state economy. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the vi viable economy, as yeah, he puts Yeah, 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 sure. No, no, that's a very important, important one. And again, it must have some ecological kind of input into these yeah. students that are thinking, I don't know, I, we don't. I only, Michelle told me about an article that was in The Guardian, and they were obviously, well, that's the one that moved. So I, I just don't, don't really, really, really know. Um, in, in Glasgow, there was a, they, I think they actually, there used to be a Department of Political Economy, which then changed its name, I think, quite recently, to a Department of Economics, not the Political Economy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the department. This is the, the university that I've been with. Incredible. So it's just like losing, checking out the kind of the, the, the external content, content, and looking at the at, at market behaviour itself. Well, the new liberal paradigm is just infecting. As well, I I can say infecting everything yeah. because it is reducing economics and study. To to financialism. Yeah. yeah, yes, I'm sure that's true. I don't. I, I'm not actually as sufficiently into economics as an academic discipline. I'm a bit allergic. I've got purposely not getting involved, but but yeah, I'm For sure that <laughs> corresponds to my prejudices about it. I would imagine that. As well. I mean, I don't, don't know what's going on inside the institutes, uh, but certainly I mean, in the broader world, we 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 get sold. And somebody says the economy, and yeah. we think the bottom line. Numbers, profit, loss, and uh, uh, very little about the, the the human ecology. Absolutely, it's most the example of the the, the, the pencil and pen or whatever the Alfred Marshall example. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, um, the study of mankind in the ordinary business of everyday life. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I mean, I mean, it's ironic because Marshall's the guy who went on about supply and demand. In what became a neo, uh, well, it became a neoliberal 
where thinking about it, but he presumably, if anyone could have said, he himself was much broader in his, in his, 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 his views. But I think that you can either, you, from economic, you can either think of, like in social theory, you can either say, well, either it's the economy that comes first and that determines society. And oddly enough, that's what Marx is used to get accused of saying, the Marx very seldom said. But it's what neoliberals really believe, that you've got them, that the economy is the real core to everything. You've got in a sense society and democracy, we just look at the economy, that's the, the, the key kind of thing. But well, the other way around, of course, it says society is the broader, the broader the category, the basic category, and the economy is one thing that can be approached and discussed in, in social context. I'm, I'm um, developing a, 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 a thesis on calling it the really dangerous economy. Um, but it, it's much broader. And in fact, I, I, I'm spearheading the whole thing by, by saying that this, this view of economics that I'm, I'm talking about is about common sense. And common sense is is sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you're on a ship, and you start burning everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you keep warm. Uh, that's not very. It's not 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 holding the forethought you want. Yeah. Because you're not going to reach port uh, if if you burn the ship yes. you're just under yeah. the feet. Yeah. Um, and trying to why the dungeon clean? Right. Uh, so. Invasive species. So, uh, rhododendrons are on, uh, outside of their, their natural habitat mm. are unusually prolific. Yeah, and also they tend to, to sap an awful lot of energy from the ground round about. Yeah, they blow all kind of the thick waxy leaves, yeah. make it absorb all the sunlight, walking it from the ground. It, uh, they take the nutrients from the ground. They also lay down. They they poison the ground, so they make the, the environment inhospitable. Oh, and so, if if we look up and down uh, South Clark Street, uh, you, you see these uh, supermarkets, these multilateral, these super structure businesses, out competing. Everything else, and yeah, you can yeah. drop the prices down below, yeah. and then uh, just yeah. Yeah. put everything else in there. So I was looking at a Scottish enterprise. Life, uh, over over eighty five percent of domestic groceries are bought from supermarkets. Uh -huh. Is that right? God, yeah. um, and then I looked at the displacement effects. Mm. For every job a supermarket creates, mm -hmm. it displaces something like 2.5 jobs, mm -hmm. so 2.5 jobs yeah. are lost. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, and then I, I walk around the supermarket, so I try and count on my hand how many products are made in a 50 mile radius. Mm -hmm. oh, not very many at all. Really. I've not been able to fill one hand yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's an illusion of choice. Yes. And, and they constantly, you know, they so they're public limited companies, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the CEO mm -hmm. has a fiduciary responsibility, always to increase the sh the, the the dividends for the shareholders. Yeah, sure, sure. If they don't push that. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're, they're legally obliged to do precisely that. Yeah, yeah. So year on year, they you know, they, they, they they cut down. You know, that, that just seemed little. Uh, they they got rid of all their cashiers except one, mm. and replaced it with these self serve machines. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I was standing with my mouth open, uh, and, and uh, someone in the store came up and said, "Are you okay?" <laughs> I said. <laughs> it was a, I can help you. I said, yeah. no, it's not like I'm standing looking in horror at yeah. this. Then you, you've got two people running this whole shop. Yes, yes, yes. And I can't buy anything from the you know, some of the richest agricultural land yeah. in Europe, exactly. in, in the low yeah. And I can't buy anything. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you were making for thinking about Adam Smith and his influence from the physio side. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, the time of the physiology, <laughs> I've been thinking about metaphors for uh, these uh, these dominant strains of business, where, where you know, public limited companies often yeah. uh, multinationals based in tax havens, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it, so it, it speaks of the rhododendron economy. Speaks. Of, There's one the thing that's not relevant to that in Adam Smith actually, but I haven't been back then for quite some time. I should be back actually. Read it, read it. But he talks really interestingly about towns and the economy of towns, like Scottish economies, Scottish towns in particular, but towns. And, and the way he is it kind of just a bit almost like what he assumes about towns is that they, they basically draw wealth in from a kind of hinterland round about. And then it, then it, it, it gets consumed in the towns. I mean, it's the way that, that Marx and Lenin think about imperialism, you know, sort of imperial, sort of imperial kind of centers, everything gets drawn, drawn in. And that's just the way that Adam Smith thinks about town. And that's, that is what you mean, I think, by the rhododendron economy kind of, kind of, kind of thing. Um, and, it just, and, and, that's, and it's not so much that that's the theory, it's just that I think that's what he just assumes, of course. And presumably that's the influence of physio class or whatever background, or the very fact that he's been living in basically an agricultural economy, an agricultural viewers. And then um, towns grow up, so that, and that, that, that you can see things being drawn out of, out of the countryside. Yeah, of course. I've uh, not got anything against business, poor successful business, mm-hmm. successful management mm-hmm. and all that, but it's when we end up with a monoculture. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, 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 a mono, monoculture impoverishes everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think I'm against business because, because I mean, for one, for one, not least because of the reason, for the following reason that if you start off with a lot of small businesses, then it, through competition or whatever, you finish up with, with some, some big businesses. You know, precisely the Euro- rhododendron culture thing grows out of it with a small scale kind. So you can't let, you can't sort of freeze it at the, at the at the decentralized kind of edge because that's what Smith says himself that, that every 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 um, merchant or, or, or manufacturer and tries to monopolize their, 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 their product. They try to establish monopolies for their, their product. That's what a what a free market is is it is en route to to, to monopoly. That's what it tries to achieve. Well, he does. He does propose a specific idea of the state yeah. protecting oh, yes, the no, yes, public yes. interest yes. against these these uh, monocultures, yeah. and I see these as better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. No, no. That's that's perfectly true. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, uh, I think it's split, the last day of split video. You know, it's kind of written by the nations. It's kind of. I mean, he's always read as though he it wrote a kind of hymn of praise. Or commercial economy, but it's, that's not actually remotely like it's not even like it. And I mean, it's much more likely that he, he said, Look, what we're dealing with is de facto and for historical reasons, and in, in increasingly so in, in the UK or Britain, is it, it, that is commercial society. So, now given that, what happens next? You know, and he's not just saying. Don't come that it's a little rubbish something like that. He's not just he's not superficial and sweeping in his, his, his view, but at the same time he he, he is um, not necessarily he's not he's not for it or against it. He just he misses what you have to. Do. These are the tensions and pressures and so forth that are there if you've got a social economy. So I don't think it's a human phrase. I think it's anything. Well, I think uh, so. Looking at um, the, the fact that he started out with as a moral philosopher, mm-hmm. theory yeah. of moral sentiment. Yeah, no, I'm so, which is one of my favorite books, actually. That's the book. And then in his time of mercantilism, yeah, yeah, yeah. where merchants, where well, it was an oligarchy, yeah, where yeah. merchants were, were yeah. people were being undervalued and exploited, and that there wasn't distribution of, mm-hmm. of wealth or. or Opportunities where people could, yeah, yeah, simply live, yeah, feed their families, yeah, develop themselves. 
So I, I, I wonder whether it was his pragmatic attempt to say, look, everybody really got to get a bite of the pie. Mm -hmm. uh, and if, if, mm -hmm. if everybody gets mm -hmm. the chance to participate in an open economy, everybody's lives get richer exponentially. Mm -hmm. So you you must control these uh, massive monopolies. You, yeah, yeah. You must oh, yeah. 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 Um, I think that, that that's that's right. Um, um the funny thing we haven't really talked anything about the, about the, the theory of moral centralism, because that mm. in really in a way is my favorite, and it's also I think George's favorite book in Scottish mm. Enlightenment. Mm. 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 Um, and it was through George, of course, that I got involved in reading the Um So, and it is, I mean, there's a big controversy about how the theory of moral sentiments relates to the wealth of nations. Um, and I've got my own views on that, never mind the views, but there's a big discussion about it. But it's not, it, it, sometimes, some definitely superficial comments would say, oh, this refers him of praise to capitalism. And the theory of moral sentiments is just a kind of, it's the same kind of story, but it, I mean, whatever else is going on, it's not the same kind of story. It's a completely different kind, kind of thing, and it gives a kind of conceptual foothold outside of the idea of a commercial economy. Um, I think um, it, it, the famous idea in it is that the idea that it's Rob, Robert Burns actually, who knew the book and stuff, that the famous thing about to see yourself as others see it. The, oh, the good Lord, Lord the gift he gave us, to see ourselves and other to see us. Um, and, and, and what Swift says in the Fear of Moral Sentiments is that you've got to try to see yourself through the eyes of other people, or as other people would be likely, liable, would be likely to, to see you. And, and, so you. and really what he wants to argue, I think, is it's a two-sided kind of thing. It's a, it's a, he, do, he doesn't. He hasn't used the word, but it's the word that I'm using talking about Smith. Is that he, he talks. He thinks, he thinks about interaction as the key idea. It's by interacting with other people through conversation, in interaction, that you you then first of all you find no, gain knowledge of them, but also you gain self knowledge through the way other people see you. Yeah, um, and um, that that notion of interaction. It's a key idea in fear of moral sentiments. Now, you can then go on to say what happens in a commercial society. You can either try to argue that, for example, well, obviously, what Swift is saying in a commercial society is that, that, that this that interaction is somehow being generalized and you know, spread through, 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 through the world. Um, or you could say, this is the one I would, view I would say, which is that in a, a, a commercial society, a market based society, um, the, 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 that, that kind of interaction, which is needful for human self-consciousness, is, is, is actually undermined and, and destroyed. Yeah. So, so that, I mean, actually, if you've got a market interaction, it's precisely not the same thing as, as interaction on the theory of moral senses. It's not a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a price maker and there's yeah. a price taker. Yes, yes, um, yes. It's a, yeah, and it's all within the framework of Europe and Pyre, I'm a proprietor. There's no questions outside of, the, of that role that, that definition. Yeah. Um, so, so I think I wanted a marvelous example of that. I say, I was, I was, well, I was, I was working on this stuff, reading this stuff in Pier Street one afternoon, and I said to myself, oh, God, I'll buy some quick little stuff. And, um, I thought, oh, God, I'll get a tank, I'll get a tank, I'll get a tank, go off to Tesco or something like that. And but driving along a bit, taxi drivers, these days from taxi drivers, there's little kind of boxes in the, in the, in the corner. So the, the taxi driver was in his little box, and I was in my little box at the back. And the guy said through to me, and what kind of day have you been having? And there was no, I mean, I don't see why I spent a oh, really quite busy day. I've been agonizing over points and having sports very moral sentiments. That didn't yeah. there was just no way of communication to go there a relation between them. I'm gonna say the fair with a market relationship. But it was yeah. precisely the opposite of, of, of our conversation. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that in addition, if they each of us was trapped in their own division of labor needs, and we just could not converse across it, but our lives were still completely dissimilar. Yeah. And that seems to me to be a list. But he actually says this in the world of making that the division of labor generates a society where people are incredibly stupid, meaning there are no, no public, no common sense at, at all, yeah. no shared sense. Oh, I know you are really yeah, yeah. yeah, Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I, I, when I was giving lectures in the university, I used to actually use that example as a trash to try to, 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 to draw out, you know, to give it a little business to the, the kind of, you know, what's this thing. No matter how I try, and I really try, because at you know, Raleigh University, we were made members of the Chamber of Commerce, went to the Kisses Gateway, got all this lovely Yeah, of course. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. I've tried, I've not been able to reconcile making it a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It changes the fundamental nature. Yeah, make reconcile with yourself. Uh, with, with the idea. With, yeah. with, with what? With, 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 with what? Well, I see what you mean. Yeah. What wealth are, are, do I want? to see in the world. Right, Reading right, University is a generator of wealth. But it is certainly not financial. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It factors into financial wealth in all parts of the economy. But there are four lenses, education, sociology, economics, and the other. Mm -hmm. so, and these are only languages. Mm -hmm. okay. in, the, in Ragged University? In yes. the, yeah. So these yeah. are Areas of study, mm -hmm. and, and, and I just, I mean, it's a rough framework I took from Umberto Eco. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he identified four key elementary phenomena that are found in all advanced cultures. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, right, that, that's a, a decent start, a decent framework to, to go to the books with. Mm -hmm. but, over the years, people are oh, right. Well, you just charge a pound, a nominal fee. Well, even then, you've got you, you are entering into a contract. Mm -hmm. Even a pound is is, is worth something. Mm -hmm. and I've just started over the last year managing to turn around and sit, be able to say, well, you know, I'm interested in the people who can see past the symbolic representation of the wealth. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the wealth itself, which yeah. is the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm, uh, I'm trying to argue that I, I give the public views. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to build arguments for public views at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And there's no way we can financialize public goods. Is, is this yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yes. Yeah. But what you're calling public good there is is, is what a, a, a very like politically like left wing kind of whatever kind of so we, 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 we call the, the, the idea of the commons. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's, it's really basically good. the same. I mean, what, yeah. You see, you can have public goods can be seen as either as in if you like state socialism or something like that. You can say it's a thing that the state is meant to allocate a bit like like. Um, Oh, I don't know, universal credit or something like that, whatever it might, might be. Um, or you can say a public good is, 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 is the common, is the air that we we breathe, or the conversations we can hear, you know, go out. And I can concur with that yeah. wholeheartedly, and I don't reject that language or those. In fact, I'm using it. So, are you familiar with Eleanor Ostrom? Yes, I do know who you mean exactly. Yes, yeah. well, so uh, when I mention commons, I'm, I'm proposing knowledge as the only sustainable commons. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And that we are part of those commons. We, humanity, mm. are a subset of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to try and to approach, uh, Eric Zensi talks about the problems of John Locke. Mm -hmm. John Locke's provisos mm -hmm. uh, of wastage and sufficiency, mm -hmm. which he, he suggests. Uh, an infinite resource. So if, imagine people going over to America, just leaping on the yeah, back yeah, of a horse, yeah, yeah. running and going, this is mine, and cutting the sure, sure. um, So in trying to resolve these, I, I've been reading a lot about the commons. And of course, the first retort I hear is, well, what about the tragedy of the commons? Mm -hmm. 
I know, but yeah, yeah. But, but for to start with that 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 um, that image of, of of the going off to America and doing, I know exactly what you mean. The, 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 um, 17th century, the uh, natural law theorist Puffendorf said that, 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 that got into. He talks about distinguishes between a a negative community of goods and, and a positive community. Of goods. He's in favour of a negative community. He looks like in the state of nature. The the idea that that. Um, that, that in a state of nature, we, God has given nature to us in common, but we can you can either say, well, let's keep it public. That's the kind of like almost like state socialist kind of you can think of the positive community of good, um, or you can say, well, it's given to us in common, so what we could do is let's go ahead and take our own bit of it, and that's negative community of goods, and that feeds over into bits of well, not mainly not entirely right? in between the two. I guess. Mainly, I think, in the negative community. And the whole notion of private property comes from a negative community of goods. But the whole notion is to do with actually taking your own bit. And that's the, the move which I think is against the, the ethics of it. The con if you start taking your own bit, then you're into private property scenarios. Whereas if it's a discussion of ideas and knowledge, it's precisely what is not. I'm not taking my own bit. I'm going off with it and, and saying this is my bit. Now. Yeah, it, 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 it's precisely saying no. I, that was a good idea. Let's hope it sort of shares around a bit. You know, it's like, yeah. Well, well, uh, I I heard this from a lovely guy locally, Derek Derek Halbin, and he, I think he saw it on, on the internet somewhere. But so you have a pound and I have a pound, mm -hmm. and I give you my pound, and you give my, me your pound. We both walk away, and we both each got a pound. You have an idea, and I have an idea. I give you my idea, yeah. and you give me your idea, and we both walk away with two ideas. Yeah, yeah. It's it, there's something generative about knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, so I'm going to be starting studying yeah. law later yeah. this year, and I'm very interested. Law, yes. Mm in the arguments of intellectual property. Mm, yeah, oh yes, yes, yes. I yeah, know it's a fascinating thing. yeah, I know, for that very for that very reason. There's all sorts of, you know, things about copyright and goodness and so on. And it, well, 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 we've had this conversation about the internet and stuff a bit, but I mean, it's sort of, it seems to me that one of the really nice things about the internet is that actually it becomes more and more difficult for people to maintain copyright. Because copyright is a poor little, if you like, monopoly, actually. It's a kind of, it is. Yeah. And, and, and also, these, these journals in particular who insist that in order to get to one article in them, you're meant to pay $39 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whereas there's all sorts of other ways of making stuff available on the internet, which is kind of, if it's there, you just, you, know, you, you hope that your name is going to be attached and you know you, you, you won't be but but basically if, if an idea runs that's that's wonderful that's a good thing not a bad thing you know yeah i uh, i i i, I love, love this idea of create uh, building co or is it, um prior art as a commons so uh of, of what? You, as, as a common prior art you know about prior art so if, if you go for a patent uh, uh yeah uh, you've got to prove that there is no prior art. There's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That this is original and unique. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, uh, do do follow these these stipulations. And if if somebody else has had it, well, it wasn't. You cannot be granted these temporary monopoly rights. And so. I, I, with all of these movements, like Wikipedia, I love Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the most brilliant generations yeah, yeah. Or, that this ever had. But I'm going to be putting all my life's work into the public domain mm -hmm. as prior art. Mm -hmm. and, and trying to encourage yeah, I see what you mean. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. to do so. Because once you put it out there, it is not... You, nobody can be granted a monopoly right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. medicine yeah. can then become, uh, but it also supports a, a, a viable economy, a, mm -hmm. a, a, a stable state economy, mm -hmm. um, because 
anybody might be able to m manufacture that and produce that medicine mm -hmm. or, or whatever. So there will be lots of producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rather than a single producer, but uh, I'm just not convinced by this. Uh, there, there, there can be only one person, company, no, entity yeah, yeah. that sucks up all this, this wealth. A couple of years ago, there was a really nice fast. I don't know how it got resolved. I think I do know how it got resolved. But, uh, in, uh, this is the product. This is the, the publication of Karl Marx's collected work. In English, <laughs> you can imagine how this is going to go. But this is probably this is published by the collected works of Marx and Engels, are published by Lawrence and Wisher, which used to be the, the old Communist Party publishing house, really. But 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 basically, um, of course, on on the left, more and more people um, have, have taken the view that well, come on, and it gets, gets me dead for quite a long time. So, and this is common, paradigmatically common. <laughs> but then um, the, uh, Lawrence and Wisher started objecting to this and wanted to say that it was the, in their coffee that, and on, on the ground, and their argument was that, in fact, all the, 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 the all right, Marx and Engels are long dead, but the people who did the editing, editing work, for the Marx and Engels edition published by Lawrence and Wisher, are either not dead or their, their immediate relatives are, are, are alive. So in fact, it's taking things from these these people to treat as common knowledge. And you know, I, I, it, 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 this gets ridiculous. I mean, I mean, in the end, these 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 things are common knowledge. But I think actually that this what's it called lib or whatever it's called. Uh, that I think they eventually had to take their Marx and Engels texts off their, their, their website because mm. of pressure from, from Lawrence and Wisher. That's outrageous. I know, yes, it, yes, it is. Oh, I mean, Marx and Engels are wearing like turbines in their ground. Yes, quite. I mean, yes, you thought it would, uh, yes. Yes, if it had, if it had been something like um, Hayek or something, you might have thought of it. At least in spirit, I can see what's going on, but I know. <laughs> That is shocking. I, I, I had a good old chuckle about that. Uh, um, oh, the Russian. Uh, very, very, uh, come on, Alex. This is pre Cena. Um, oh, the great uh, Tolstoy. Mm -hmm. And so, so, so he uh, spent his life <laughs> putting into the public yeah. domain. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then there is a wrangling. Yeah. No, 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 we've got to, this has got to be an engine of profit. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I found that was that was quite ironically yeah, yeah. farcical as well. But, but, but uh, it's actually the, the internet makes it much easier to put intellectual work in the public yes. domain because you just do it. And then you can't really not do it. You can tell all sorts of people you should take it off their website. But actually, once it's out there, it's not really going to completely. Vanished. <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Are, uh, are you familiar with um, the, the, the case of Eli Whitney? I think so. I think that was a fairly name, but I don't know. Go on. He, he developed a cotton gin, uh, which yeah. pulls the seeds out of co cotton before yes. it gets spun. I've come across this in some discussion of a econ social economic history. Thing. I can't remember. Go ahead. Yeah. It's a seminal case, an example of uh, the, the the public good in terms of property rights. So he he was a great guy, uh, you know, a good man. Made this cotton gin in the, in the United States, and it was so good that people started copying it. Mm -hmm. He had done everything by the numbers, patented it, lodged everything. And he realized, wait a minute, everybody's copying it. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll go to the courts. And the court after court in the United States went, well, you, you are right. And yes, you have to. to do a method. Yeah. Well, they, they said, categorically, we're not upholding this simply because it geometrically it improves everybody's lot. Mm -hmm. It enriches humanity too much yeah, yeah. to hold this technology yeah, yeah. back. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, 
we're, we're now getting to this stage where uh, there are patent trolls. Uh, these these awful, nasty, Norwalkian lawyers mm -hmm. that, that are, are patenting genes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cancer genes. Yeah. So somebody, like I think Stanford or Yale came up with a cheaper, better test for breast cancer, I think. <laughs> Some shitty lawyer had had patented the gene and said, um, no, uh, you now have to, every test you run, you have to pay us because yeah. and, uh, it, it's an outrage. Mm. It's, uh, I mean, if, if that's the case, I'd better get, I'll patent the letter E, it's the, the most... Yeah, 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 yeah. The most used of all the the Latin uh, uh, scripts. Yeah, yeah, yes, quite, 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 absolutely. Yeah. It also there is a question. I mean, if knowledge is is a commons, you can. What else could be a a commons with quite drastic effect? I mean, what about um, time prints? Absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the Lee Thompson's got an essay about time, and he, he said that, that the emergence of notion, that linear time in an industrial revolution, you know, like sort of um, yeah, number of hours in the factory, that kind of, that kind of thing. And he distinguishes between, what is it? Between Who was that? E.P. Thompson. E.P. Thompson. Oh, Edward something Thompson. Thompson. A wonderful historian. But he um, distinguishes between what does he call it now? Um, spending time and passing time. And you see, spending time is this kind of, you know, you, 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 it's something you spend that you, you don't want to devote too much because you're not using it for something else. But it's the kind of, kind of anal retentive kind of rather Calvinist kind of view of pure, puritanical view of time, work time. And, 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 and of course, passing time is more like, like this. I mean, it, it, it's more kind of, it's great fun, we'll go on doing it a bit. You know, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of, um, it, it, that's a different attitude to time altogether. It's either a possessive individual of time or a more expansive kind of view of time. I have been thinking about this in context, but so, uh, mobile phone contracts. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll hang on to that. Mm -hmm. That was very nice, actually. Nice. <laughs> So my mobile phone contractor decided my tariff didn't exist. So you know, besides the idea of contract certainty being uh, hissed all over from a great height, uh, I, I was left dealing with these Kafka-esque call centers. And the amount of time yeah. I am spending trying to get their system to work yeah, yeah, yeah. correctly I, I i was just i, I started to say this look this if, is if you're using a mobile phone you're probably actually paying for it for this time i mean it's not that, that they are paying for messing around you around you are paying to get messed around by using a this one <laughs> it's taken a month and a half you know cut me off at the knees oh. and it was an absolutely essential thing to run the project, mm. and it's, it's cost me a fortune. But most of them, you cannot get time back. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's much more valuable than their yeah. pounds and chili. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I live it with these, these um, self-referencing systems. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Have you ever come across a guy called Nicholas Lumen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I know exactly who you mean. Again, I haven't read much by him. I think I've read an article or something. But I mean, I know he talks about Habermas discusses him amongst others. But yes, that's it. Sociologist, you know? Yeah, so it's a sociologist, systems things where he's, oh, he's, he's just written on a lot of mm -hmm. different subjects. Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, uh, He's, he's written a small library, really. mm -hmm. but the concept, uh, I, I, I got to him by looking at this, the concept of the strange loop. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Hofstadter uh, describes this. So, you know Escher? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I know the, the Mobius loop or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
And if you listen to Bach, there are these Mobius loops <laughs> in Bach. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Gödel's Gödel <coughs> mathematicians, uh, 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 mathematics um, utilizes this, and uh, so he did, describes these. It's, it's a self-referencing paradox. Mm-hmm. Or a That's what it must become. Yes, yes, yes. And I dug deeper, and Nicholas Luhmann is is talking about autopoiesis. So the the self-referential systems that recreate themselves. Yeah. And the legal system as as manifesting some of these these yeah. qualities. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what I'm starting to see in these corporations. Yes, yeah, yeah. These strange loops. Yeah. Where, mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that they're there, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. I guess it makes it really life become awful for, for anybody trying to deal with yeah, them from the, out, the outside. If you if you're in a thing that does that, you're not very sure. Uh, yeah, and that's another t- uh, uh, description of tangled hierarchies. Yeah. No matter how far up you go in the system, it, yeah. or how far yeah. down you go, you 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 yeah. never you always remain that's in the same place. Yes, I, I can. Yes, I can imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, time, <laughs> time as a, a common absolute, and, and this is why I'm trying to keep pe- 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 Yeah. yeah. Into the commons rather than this, this very sort of medieval teleological sort of scheme where humans sit outside of nature or on the top. Yeah. Um, maybe we, we should conceive of ourselves as within mm-hmm. and a part of and interacting with. Yeah, yeah. And everything becomes that much more meaningful. So our time becomes. Valuable. Yeah. I miss. I'm now. You know, I go for a job, mm-hmm. and I'm now expected to get up two hours early. Yeah, yeah. For which I'm not paid. Yes, yes, yes. For, and you know, uh, the more time that's stripped out each yeah. of our, our lives, yeah. and it makes it so tight that life we, we can't. I, I was thinking about. Do you remember street dates? Uh, what street dates like fairs? Oh yes, yes. Uh, people getting the bunting out. Yes. Uh, okay. I think all the stuff people were doing over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Now it's it's all worthless. We we don't have the time in our life mm-hmm. to spend having the conversations. To go, let's meet our neighbors. I'm going to cook some cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have have some fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's we we well, we're out. Um, it's all all becoming externality. Mm-hmm. Where we go, right? Well, let's meet, and it's it's a financialized type transaction. Mm-hmm. The, like toilets are going, you know, now I'm just ranting. No, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what do you think about, well, the air, clean air is a common. <laughs> well, yeah, because someone, yeah. Well, one would used to make the same kind of <laughs> almost absurd kind of argument, uh, I'm in reference to, to, to water, but of course, water can get filled as well, you know, that's the kind of, um, I don't know, someone presumably is going to start. Marketing those all inhalers of those fresh air. Yeah. If not, perhaps we should do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny guy called Robert Anthony Wilson who says, um, <laughs> or he said, um, it, as soon as we managed to work out a way of putting a meter between us and the sun, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll do it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I remember there's a, I mean, it's not a, a, a sort of thing, one of the schemes, actually it was the Soviet Union, I think, that was talking about this at one point, back in 1907, 1950, was that possibly um, um, problems about uh, global warming, because, because I, before this became a cut-off concern, early, based, what, what did he stick to this thing? 
it was still the Soviet Union was still a going concern. I think it was just before the, when these problems began to some signs that began to not being addictive, beginning to be okay. But anyway, they had some scheme of, of somebody had a scheme of putting up a, um, a screen between the sun and us. Yeah. <laughs> this was the Soviet Union kind of, I didn't know, like a satellite that would stay kind of up, 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 up there. <laughs> And and then presumably it would become a, a, a commodity. You could yeah. then say, well, you know, we're going to make it with a hole in it. You'll be burnt. <laughs> that is really, truly, truly frightening. Yes. Well, I mean, I think I think it was there was no. I mean, it was just it was, it was some Soviet person's idea. But I don't think it never yeah. became. Yeah. There was no idea because that might like, like by becoming reality. One, what it was. <laughs> well. I had, a, I had a brilliant talk down in Manchester mm -hmm. for the first first of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave Dave Hall, uh, the professor at the University of Manchester, did the, the policy of uh, education from 1968. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't reached all the way up to present. Mm -hmm. It was a stinging. Deconstruction mm -hmm. of how education has become commodified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and although the promise of less control mm -hmm. for educators, you know, oh, you get freedom in the market, will decide. Yeah, okay, more, yeah. It's become uh, more control uh, and, you know, less accessible. Oh. So, uh, Oh yeah, I mean, the, 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 well, the, 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 not, not 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 major university that it were, but kind of what used to be called red brick university. The number, that was kind of John Major was kind of no, people doing like like qualifications and things like hairdressing and you know, all kinds of things that were actually not. I think they, they were kind of minor qualifications, but there was not that anybody was nobody was doing a kind of degree in so, so and so. so the, 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 the over accreditation. A whole number of activities that are actually not really, um, you know, needing to be accredited. They're they're, they're just things that people did. Um, then um, the amount of, of control over people's education, control over people's time and lives, is huge. If you think about that, I mean, it was the, the, the I think something like the top three percent of, of the population went to university back in the that time of the war. And then now it's something like it's, it's more than fifty percent, something like you know, way. I mean, it's eighty percent, but it's kind of, but just the amount of, of control over people's time and consciousness and thought involved in that is enormous. It's kind of, well, uh, uh, I, do you like John Stuart Mill? Sort of. I mean, he's sort of, yeah. <laughs> There's always there's a bit of a, a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I've been digging, digging around in John Stuart Mill and on liberty. Yeah, yes, I do like most of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking taking his open premise really, and I'm trying to work out whether education yeah. is is a business. Um, I, I get to the very philosophical root of it. Mm -hmm. I, I, is it that we are running a business, mm -hmm. or is it that we are advancing knowledge for? Uh, I, recognizing knowledge wherever it is situated mm -hmm. and attempting to advance it. Yeah. Uh, of course, institutions work on multiple levels. But, yeah, if, so if somebody has an overwhelming body of evidence going, well, okay, so face like uh, the Longitude Prize. You know about the Longitude Prize? Mm -hmm. Long to do, oh, this is back in the whatever it was, the 17th century, yes. Uh, an act of parliament was yeah. passed. Was well, it 17th century? I think, I think yeah. it was the 17th century, yeah. Um, and 20,000 pounds, which is mm -hmm. a huge amount of money, mm -hmm. was, well, we need, we need a, a solution yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and anybody can do it. Uh, yeah. Anybody who comes up with it gets the, the booty. Mm -hmm. uh, and this guy, uh, a self talk Carpenter mm -hmm. came up with a solution, mm -hmm. but repeatedly was uh, sort of put through the mill, mm -hmm. and, and it was never paid to mm -hmm. the price. So, 
This is a chronometer idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hence Greenwich Mean Time yeah. was established. Uh, sorry, the, the prime meridian was, right, right, was right. established. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still going to do the right thing, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's right, yeah. So I've been trying to sort of mix and match these these ideas, and, and but that's a determinate technical question, mm. that, and 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 you can no doubt have a, a prize to do. But if, if the notion is to to discuss something like whether education involves the self development of some of people's characters, for instance, <laughs> Jardine would be quite happy to discuss that. Just that you know, kind of thing, no doubt. But um. But it, you can't. I mean, it, that, it doesn't lend itself to to, to business type thinking at all, does it? It's, it's more because it's, it's a bit like a conversation. You can't market conversation because the, yeah, for like a good conversation is, is developed. It's, 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 it's like a the, 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 most people come out having got more ideas at the end of it. Um, it's like a, a sort of spot. I, I always think of this some um, interaction between self and others and, and humans. Um, theory moral sentence. I always think of it as like two arcs of a circle. That so I know the, the other person, the other person knows me, but I know myself through the other person. And what happens is there's interaction between the two. But if you try, again, I've been uh, use this sort of diagram on blackboards trying to explain this to, to students as uh, teaching. And to, to get the notion of self development into like a conversation that is mutually enriching, what you've got to imagine is that it goes round like that. But then it's got to be like a, a spiral that comes out from the blackboard. You actually need a third dimension to, yeah. to, to, to draw it. But that's how I always think of self-development, self-determination or self-development and something like that. It's an interactive thing, but it's, it's, it's a kind of spiral that involves an interaction between that these two, two, two people. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's, uh, that's what I understand. I feel richer, I feel more confident, I feel uh, more yeah. capable of, of interacting with more. I, I take it that's what I mean. I take it that's in the back of, of John Stuart Mill's mind when he talks about, um, about, about well, liber liberty and liberation. But it's almost liberty in, 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 in some way or other, an interactive kind of sense that he's got. In, 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 in mind. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be just two people, but it can be across the face of a, of a, of a society. Um, and I, I don't know what he said about business and education, but I, could, I don't see how you can really marketize that version of interaction at all. They just, you can get, you try to help them, you can get, help it get going, but you can't actually really put a, 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 a so, you know, the, you get a certain amount of financial reward for doing that. Something I else mean, it doesn't work. It's wholly destructive to yeah, try yeah. and uh, describe the world with one one language set. Well, you know, imagine how annoying it would be if we were forced to put everything into mathematical terms. I know. Yes. Definitely. What would you like to be? Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Did you enjoy that cake? Yeah, yeah. Three? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. Just so we. we uh, yeah. Yeah. No, completely. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you've been following any of the, the events, the, the, the student events at the moment, and like in the LSD, and, and just until Saturday morning in, 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 in Amsterdam. For instance, and they, they kind of so it's, oh, what used to be called sit-ins, but or, or occupations or right. whatever, whatever. But the, definitely because they, I, I sense of in mean, one of the strands and all of that is, is that students are, are more and more resentful. I mean, students involved more and more resentful, um, of, if you like, neoliberal or market-based kind of thinking about about education. That's precisely that. There was more of the kind of um, what do you call them? Um, Joss Wynn and, and Mike Neary kind, kind of approach to education is the sort of thing which that's one of the strands in their, their protest and thinking and so on. So, so it really, I mean, it's very widespread. It's not, it's, and yeah, sure, the sort of ra radical students are one lot of people, but I think it's a really widespread concern in society as a whole. And knowledge is just a thing that everybody has some sort of developed through, through interacting with each other. Oh, that's that's what, where I went with uh, uh, Stuart Mill. Mm. So it, it was an yeah. infringement of our civil liberties to be held 
withheld from a community of our peers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you're actually uh, restricting all their fe all, all features and opportunities. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, it yeah. feels good to you at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. But I think that you can also broaden that line of argument out to include ecological ideas as well, because, I mean, if you just want to turn nature into a concrete car park, that's just impoverishing everybody's lives and, the, and the, their chances of, of having a rewarding life or to look at a hillside and say, oh, that's really, look at the light on that hill. You, know, you, you, just, you can't do that because there's, I think there's only a bit of concrete. So, so in fact, messing up nature, although nature is not human, but messing up nature is actually going to make everybody, else, everybody else's lives a more and more miserable and limited kind of, kind of thing. Yeah, so I think you can, the, the, the kind of line of thought we're talking about can be generalized in a whole number of different different ways. I, I, uh, yeah, I think I agree with you. There is con there's agreement. It will, whatever profession I go to, mm -hmm. whichever vocation, I, you know, the same concerns mm -hmm. are there. Like, yeah. So this managerialism, mm -hmm. uh, micromanaging with uh, yeah, uh, yeah. bureaucracies that yeah. aren't really functional bureaucracies. I, I can think, I mean, this is just sort of me thinking against myself kind of thing, but I can, I mean, it's true enough that, that if, for instance, somebody is proposing to conduct a, 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 a surgery on my brain or something, for example, um, then I'd, I'd want to feel that they were a competent and, and, and able kind of brain surgeon. So you could, and then you say, well, now that I'm going to be a bit worried about the situation, if the guy hasn't got some kind of certification saying that he's satisfied his peers or something like, 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 like that. So you could say that in particular cases, um, that, 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 that some kind of qualification or accreditation becomes a, a, a desirable kind of, you know, necessary quality. But it seems to me that, to say that that's the general space, yeah. is the problem. Because if you say everybody, because if you think of the blame stuff, yes, okay. But what about the educationist? What about the musician? What about the... You know, the person thinking that, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It yeah. just becomes ridiculous at that kind of point. If you start with the the, 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 the accreditation thing as, as a universal case, I guess the term, if you think it's a universal thing as a informal case, and special cases have to be made out to introduce formality, yeah. then it becomes a much more plausible kind of you know, oh, I, I, I totally agree with that. I don't want somebody driving the bus. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to drive yeah, the yeah, bus. But, yeah, Simple yeah, as. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but at the same time, if you were, if there are, are, are yeah. certifications or qualifications in, in, in tour guidance, I wouldn't want to know about that. I'd prefer <laughs> to go my own way, you know, or have gone and say, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Say, where should we go over there? You know, have a, you know, well, you, you see what I mean? It's, it's, it's what, what it's, but it's in it. You try to credit every, every you can get into a problem. But 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 that must be a good idea. Good example. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh, it, it's a type of managerialism that comes from lazy sort of short country. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, at one point I was I I was looking to to make my millions. <laughs> Um, of a video screen going off the stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody had said, oh, well, Alex, yeah, of course you need to go, you know, a friend in London said they could get me an inch. Uh, and the, basically, you don't need to be that smart. And <laughs> uh, I, 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 the, the mindset was to make lots of money yeah. so I could have time to do other thing, mm -hmm. but of course that that, that concentration on the end mm -hmm. and, and not any understanding oh, yeah. of the means. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it was a road to basically becoming a computer, a, somebody who computes financial transactions mm -hmm. and all of those things, all of the richnesses mm -hmm. were were, were mm -hmm. fast disappearing and. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think people who, who go right, uh, if I inject myself as a middleman mm -hmm. between 
So if I offer, become the offer, I, if I authorize people as tour guides, and they come to me and I'll, 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 I'll be quality control. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, quality yeah. management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's right. That's right. We set themselves up as paladins of knowledge. Mm. And this is how I'm going to start the, the Ragged University Human End mm -hmm. with a short talk. Penny Jean Burke talks about uh, we've got to be careful to destabilize mm. regimes of truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that pithy phrase, because how do I decide who's allowed to do a talk? I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But your notion is, of course, anybody can do a talk. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want it becoming. Uh, well, I've said political, religious, or yeah. corporate. Yeah. So, but when we we near it, like moving closer to the planet, yeah. from from a distance, it looks very peaceful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when we, I near, you know, like you say, everything's political. Yeah. But, but, but actually, this struck me after in this conversation last time, and that, that actually, what do you object to? And. Where it, uh, if so, this is where I agree, agree with you. You're, you're actually not really saying that you, you should not talk about religion or politics. Yes. Or whatever. What you're what you're doing is you're a kind of of interaction or 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 way of talking or, or it's, it's a mode of, of, of discourse that you're yeah. that you do not have not a content of discourse. I mean, I managed to. I seem to have a knack. And I, I, both in, in ragged, but also in, in another place. I, I tell you what, like the, 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 the old occupied talk. So I, I managed to, to, to actually put forward quite radical ideas, but not not adopt not adopting that tone of voice that you object to. Yes, you. What, what, what do I mean? Um, and and basically just doing it in a, in a completely open. And well, yeah, there's that. Um, yes, I don't agree with that. But but just being. Anything's fine, you know. But, 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 but do that kind of thing. You can talk about actually anything, actually, really. You know, you can go up, you can see outrageous things to people. <laughs> but then, but, but way out kind of stuff. But but, but in a very friendly kind of way. Right? It's a little bit friendly. It's all right. It, it, that's that's it. it. Is keep, keeping the familiar. Yeah. Uh, my worry was, particularly looking at the history, and particularly looking at what's happened. With language mm. and subject theory, yeah, they can. It can. My worry is that it becomes colonized. Mm -hmm. That the people go, the a group of people with a specific agenda, mm -hmm. which is proselytizing, which is evangelizing, yeah. which is like to start to dominate the what should be an open landscape. Yeah. Our, the people shouting loudest is is not. Yeah. I, I I I like people shouting loud. Yeah, yeah. But when it's organised such that it dominates everything else in the landscape, yeah, yeah. I trouble with the idea. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I would agree also that there are some subject matters or topics that 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 that. Um, that do tend to, to attract people, draw people into this kind of hectoring kind of kind of tone, tone of voice. That that is the case, and yeah, and religion and politics are are, are definitely two of you them. Know, but it's not, it's not necessarily that case. But but that that, that certainly has tends to happen. I, I, I think I'm trying to include it as a footnote yeah. and not make it the the sign yeah, above yeah. the door. Yeah, so. Yeah. The next, the, the next two talks, we've got a, a guy talking about uh, syndicalism. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and his historical context. Uh, followed by a guy who's talking about chakras and by or a healing. Yeah, yeah. So, these are two subjects I know very little about. I've heard various people get in touch and say, well, I don't think you should be. And I, I, I had to respond to, in a few emails saying, I am not a gatekeeper. 
I, here's, here's a prediction for you. I think that uh, between you, the syndicalist speaker, called the guy, with, and, and, and the person who's talking about what they call chakras, is that chakras and what on aura healing. Aura healing. But I, I think he, the, the person opposed to the person who'll get into a more hectoring to an avoid will be the, 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 the aura healing guy. <laughs> Because I think you see, if you go to, to more and more outsider kind of kind of ideas, people they get people to defend them get defensive, and that's how it comes out. Like with it. there's something a bit laid back to that. Yeah. Well, I I find it a constant challenge where I yeah. have to get yeah. myself open. I have to go right, Alex. You're just a janitor. You're just a janitor. You open the doors. You welcome people. Yeah. In, you sit them down. Yeah, I know, I said, yeah. If there's if there's heat in there, try and dispel it. Yeah. But it's a bit like a house park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I want people to take on and uh, open it out. Yeah. And if if there is a danger where, uh, say, the mince pies, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the people who worship mince pies <laughs> go right. I uh, we love this idea. We've we've. We crave a space to speak. Every you know, every single opportunity they inject. But there will be a point where I will say, "Well, I need to make sure other people, everybody's got a cup of this cake." Uh, and it's an it's an oxymoronic statement. But it was just, it's a helpful footnote for me to be able to go, you know, this is not the place for lobbying, and I respect uh, yeah. you, know, that you're, you're, you love your party politics. Yeah. But there's lots of other places that you can do that. If you talk about history, that's an entirely different thing. Yes, 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 yes. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's the most problematic language that I love. <laughs> I think the, the one, the only back to the, the talk I did on common sense uh, and, and raggedy arrested. I think the only time that the conversation got a little bit edgy, at least I got a little bit edgy, was that there was a guy at the front of the, 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 the youngish man, well, maybe 20 to 30, and, and, and towards the front of the, the, the group, who said that he believed in, he was, he was pro weak. Concerned about ecological I mean, I, I think in many ways I probably agree with many of the actual things he did. But anyway, what he said was he, he announced himself that he said, I believe in rational, natural law. And, 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 and this is more or less in the, in the tone of voice I think that you're expecting. I'm a member of the social. You can actually quite say you're a member of something. But anyway, that, that, and, and that, he, I did have a go at him. And, you know, I, I, I do know a bit about the, the history of natural law and political theory, and I know that na under natural law, all sorts of different things have been claimed to be natural. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a very good guidance there, yeah. and that the guy who Grotius is supposed to be responsible for it, modern natural law and defend really defend private wars launched um, in defence of freedom of trade, for instance. And this guy was obviously not going to defend that guy. <laughs> so I found pointing that out to him. I said, well, if I don't believe in natural law. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in conversation, it's in conversational spaces that I think you need to help yeah, yeah, yeah. to dissolve these, these binary yeah, yeah. perspectives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, there was, this is what you just doing. I was having a conversation at least 10th point, because this guy had totally out at all economics means and is entirely about people taking advantage of other people yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. wringing profit. But he's trying to say, well, no, no, I think it's, it's quite, quite a lot like yeah. Which economist, time, I will be, if you're going to put something, so suddenly the invisible hand was everything. The invisible hand was this, the invisible hand makes a cappuccino, then. And I was like, 
So, so, so can we so can we just source this? By well, Adam Smith was this parent. Well, yeah, can we look at what he yeah. rather than what other people said he yeah. And it reminded me of you saying, you were fascinated to find this joke on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's partly because of you. I mean, most people do things like, like in economics courses and stuff. They, they, they probably have heard a little bit about Adam Smith. They've heard about the invisible. They, they've only heard a little bit. And so it's presented in a very simple kind of way. And because it's simple and limited, it sticks in their, their kind of mind. If they actually had a little bit more time to kind of reflect on what Adam Smith had to, they would then become more, a bit more blurry or you know, problematic. And, uh, yeah, but but because it's a kind of distilled almost to a kind of two liner kind of thing, you know, yeah. but then, yeah, it becomes a, a kind of dogma or something of that. That kind doesn't have any flexibility at all. It's just like, what is that? Any way you can help me develop and flesh out this, this kind of holistic, this, this yeah. educational, conversational space, avoiding these red, uh, sort of, Still hard edge polemic rhetoric. Well, one thing I was thinking, I said that I would do something about common sense. Yeah, I wanted to shift the conversation over to thinking what I would actually do or or, or talk about or or basically my involvement in in, in ragged and in, 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 in a, a bit. And also, we've got one thing we haven't ever really done any more of that is this this, this, this notion about common sense volume or something or whatever. Yeah, and this is partly because Steve, I'm told it is back in circulation. It seems like I'm doing somebody said he was handing out leaflets about the English, what it was called, the tip and certain stuff. Um, and now, so he's, he's, and he's kind of out in the world doing things, but what he's actually doing. I don't know. Have you, have you been in touch with him at all? Uh, well, yeah, I've crossed. Like, uh, he's been very kindly uh, sort of on, on permanent loan uh, this, a collection of uh, papers. So he's looking to rehouse a lot of his, his uh, groups. I think he's, he's looking for, for new, new comic papers. I don't, don't know what's happening in his personal situation entirely. But uh, I think he's, he's up for conversations. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. yeah. Um, uh, he's so about to a fitting him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he can be um, flighty at, uh, at times. Uh, yeah. It's probably a way of being, I mean, he, we have not, he doesn't want to get involved too much. You can either do it by saying no, or you can do it by saying, oh, yes, but I don't quite know when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, shall I just take the plunge? I'm so shall we just take their seats and uh with the speech permission. Uh and I mean I've got two other contributions. Have you? Right. Well I haven't. And that's because I've done nothing about it. Um I I I guess maybe it's something you'd like to open up. Well, well, I think we should, we should make some very kind of, yeah, what, what, I mean, first of all, I think if we can assemble our papers so far as they exist, yeah. um, I mean, that condition that they're in, and also the ones that we have, into a, 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 a document or style or something like that on a computer, and so we can then send it to, and so we can actually um, have a, a look at what we're actually talking about. At the moment, it's a little bit numinous, whatever the word would be, the notion of being in mind. In yeah. mind. Um, I, I know I've got the, the, what I think of as being the, the latest version of Alpha Bertel, in your, in your paper and, and Steve's paper, and also as my version of, of, of Common Sense, the original one, with one or two very, very tiny or more type of corrections in it. But, uh, but it, it, it's uh, anyway. So I've got them, them on my computer, um, but I think we need to have a look at the whole, look even at those papers, see how hard, what, what stage they're at, and, and, and what, um, 
and whether we're both happy with them as they are. And again, we ought to know, we ought to decide how much, um, if any, how much, um, to do our editing of these papers are concerned. I mean, to try and, there's something like typos and stuff like that. Like, 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 unevenness or just ways that things are referred to. Um, so um, maybe we should just take it as they are, that they're all different from there they are. Or we could do it with trying to kind of moderate it, you know, to do like an internal editing kind of thing if we want to do that. We can decide what, right, we need to look at them. If you add in the, the other paper that you've got, then at least we've got a one yeah. item, and then we, we can make decisions about it. That, that's the first, uh, first thing to do. Well, I, I think uh, it's, it's very good to get stuff out. I mean, I, I, what I've done is I've, I've published my common sense stuff on the website. Yeah. Because, yeah, well, again, I, I, I want it in the public domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been on my own website. Physical bit is really is a different Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, even if it was to, Additions. I, I, I think uh, if, if you were to write, uh, but you know, you, very much your suggestion, yeah. write an invitation, an open invitation that we can put out through the regular list and say, oh, no, that's an idea too. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yes. I, I like roughly writing. I would say, I, I, because then, over time, we can see a awareness. When you say rough and ready, you mean not, not very too much more, as it were, what I'm calling editing? Yeah, I'm, really, well, I'm also very happy to take your, you know, you know, what, what your instincts are. Yeah. But I just don't really know. I mean, like this create, just the, the fact that I'm involved in this creative project. <laughs> yes, I mean, on, on the other thing, yeah, and well, the other thing is, of course, yes, not right, right, advocating this, but I mean, the, 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 you, we were talking about whether it there should actually be a hard copy, whether there should be at least one copy of a hard hard copy. I'm more like, do you think so? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, this idea of all written, the physical book yeah. has different qualities from the digital yeah. word. Yeah, yeah. And the physical book is much more universal yeah. than the digital world. Uh, yes. I, I, I think it, it, is, the, is the word reify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They actualize it into an yeah. artifact. Yeah. First, where I feel shocked. Yeah. I, I like with my artwork. Mm -hmm. I always bring it to a fine, mm -hmm. All right. it, it crystallizes it out, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I can write, you know, I scribble a, a poem, yeah. I get the words right. Mm -hmm. It's never complete for me until I put it yeah. into calligraphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. I mean, I'm not. I, I mean, it, it's just a, a decision to to be made. That's all. I'm not saying we should decide one way or another. But the thing about, um, I mean, once we've seen that, the, the, if, if if you can establish a, a kind of pile with the things in it, mm -hmm. send it on to, to to me, then we can then look through what we have and and decide what to to do about it. I mean, the thing about internal editing, as it were. It, <laughs> It partly, I mean, it depends to a large extent on, on how many different people of different kinds, so to speak, turn up and, and produce con contribution. If, if there's a whole number, then the unevenness, the diff I mean, differences don't really matter too much because these things are different. If there are two or three different things, then the differences will be will sort of jar. Then you see what I mean, because it'll just be not, not edited. <laughs> but if, it, if more people, it was a funny kind of thing. If there's if more people involved, it will stop being non edited. It will, it will be non edited, but it will actually look at that part of the intention. Yeah. 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 That I really like. And the, the, the diversity. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think there's also a question which we need to think about, which is that to what extent. We, I mean, we're happy enough that many people should talk about 
any what do I politics anyway. But but at the same time, you see another way of looking at this could be to say, well, do we want to for instance to just list it, um, contributions from people like yeah. Joss Wynn or but on the other hand, well, well yes, no, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean it depends on what kind of collection we're talking about because if, 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 if I mean if it was an essay on 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 neoliberalism and education, which is what Joss might want to write about, for example. Um then I also, if that was what I was supposed to be writing something on, I also would have something else to say. Not, I mean, I'm more or less on the lines of what I just said, but in a different kind of essay. And also, if you wanted to be writing something on neoliberalism and education, you might think all this stuff about common sense and nursing, let's say, is just not relevant. You know, the whole thing gets. Well, I'm going to bring up the picture of, and I can send you the document. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the essential part. I've been playing an imprint from the Ragged University for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't think he's, you know, this is one, one, so he's, he's, he's just one steering great, you know, people want to learn. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned how to take that route. Yeah. I, I, you know, and, the this as an open a large as I will press let's write about yeah. the, the let's create another you know and keep it open to well okay this subject if you want to write an essay on uh education and the new liberalization of it great I'll, I'll, I've got a contribution too yeah yeah why don't we could sort of I mean with that I, I know that we don't want to as it were Imposed too many controls on what other people might write and who they are and so forth. But we, you could make, we could make, I mean, there are some sort of limitations which are quite, if you like, natural, dare I say. If it became quite specifically um, something published by the Ragged University in Edinburgh, yeah? And, and, and so people, it wouldn't have people who are necessarily involved in. That, but they could have to have some kind of that would be the example of the focus of it. And, and therefore, we wouldn't, I mean, instead of saying we should be talking about the LSE occupation and in, in, in London neoliberalism or something like that, that, that just wouldn't come into place because we're talking about it's more Edinburgh based and it's more um, regular university based. So that's a lovely idea, yeah. And, and again, if we, if we keep the thing focused on, yeah, not just ragged university in general, but Ragged University in Edinburgh. Again, people who are, I don't know if people who are necessarily li literally living in the town, but, but you know, because that was the focus. Um, then if, if somebody picked it up in a shop later on and started it online, say, all right, so what Ragged University, Edinburgh, what, what do we hear about from there? You know, the kind of neck of the woods kind of thing. I think that's a really nice idea. I finally got the finances from this, you know, the support for, for this, yes. uh, and and lots of really good advice from in the publishing industry. It's that was so cheap and accessible, yeah. and it it represents. I mean, to me, these are historical moments. Yeah. These are, this is something I'm proud to be a part of. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be a some part of this community. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice way of getting definitions here. Yeah. And, and in fact, we, what we could maybe do, um, I mean, I haven't really thought about this properly, but the, 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 it was some kind of, um, in, not exactly, well, I don't know an editorial really, but I, I'm not. Quite an introduction, some kind of bit more general statement that was kind of a bit like the equivalent of your like janitor or or, or or somebody coming on stage to say here is this that you know kind of an you know, introductory act that kind of thing. That, 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 at the beginning, that would be quite a good thing instead of just plunging people straight into that really thing. Um, now this could either be you doing something and your role as like this right at university action. Um, I mean, or it could, I could add in something too. I mean, we, or, or perhaps we could edit the introduction to it or something, something like that. I'm not quite sure. Last so, yeah. Um, and it, just really about sort of two or three pages, it would be 
oddly enough, actually. But, but just to kind of mean that, yeah, really bring this up in Chairman is the wrong word as well, but what's happening, you know, in um, music hall, these days, people need to be a sort of fun chair. Yeah, 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 for those people in this room, yes, more, yes, more or less that. This is what's happening when you have in yeah. this room for this evening. Yes. Welcome, sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And these people have been asked to make, contribute to their thoughts about whatever they seem to, to what mean, mean, whatever it means to them. But for them, mean the notion of common sense. And that's going to, I don't really just say that kind of thing at the beginning, and um, they can go on, on this. Yeah. I, 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 I think this kind of thing is really missing. Just the fact that we're, we're chilled out about it and we're going to run with this. Yeah. There certainly is a lot of vitality to it. Yeah. Uh, and just, for example, penguin roots. I'm just shocked at the price of it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. So something that started out as something that was well, um, the equivalent price, uh, price of a pint of beer mm. is beautiful. It's suffering with some Yeah, I know. I know. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Doing Reggae University for five years now, and without editorial, I've never been to an uninteresting mm. event. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that will carry over into the literary terms. Well, I mean, that's that, that, okay. So that, that was in, we're getting some somewhere about thinking about the about this whole whole process. Yeah. And now, one, if we can, sorry, if you can establish the, the, the file with the dot with the thing in it, we've both got it. I think maybe the next thing is for us to um, write just a, a, a kind of half a page, really. Something that I mean, but, but maybe uh, well, either one of us could draft it, and the other person could have a look at it. So it would be a kind of joint, jointly kind of thought of it. But it would be an invitation that we would then mail to the anybody else, anybody on the, on the Ragged University list saying, Do you want to contribute? Yeah. I mean, to it. Yeah. Well, it would be great if you were because of the like, feeling that. Well, the All right, so I'll, 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 I'll do that, and that's my okay. So, all right, so you'll do the file, send the file to me, but I'll um, I'll, I'll wait until it turns out. Kind of look at it. Yeah. Yeah. The anyway, I'll then write it out. Send it on to you. You can just take it around with it, and send just to the trailer around the rep bracket. That'd be great. Yeah, something really good has happened in Manchester, you said. Yeah. Um, uh, so, are you familiar with Meetup? Uh, Meetup. It's a digital flower. Oh, Meetup. Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah. Some, some name somebody calls Meetup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we've got two Meetup groups. Uh, and that, this is just the signifier. It's not by the means being representative. I'm not going where it's taking me cold. Yeah, good, good point. By um, no like yeah. means still representative. But. In the end of the Langham University, there's 430 people mm -hmm. uh, who are wanting to be informed about all activity. Yeah. And with Manchester, there's 134. But something lovely happens. The community has run away with the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, In what way? We just started making our own things. We went to Langham. Oh, they yeah, well, I see, yeah. Well, I was like, they got in touch and they said, we're doing this. Uh, well, is that okay? I said, this is my dream. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah. Tell me how I can help. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I, I really, I'm trying to get, you know, the right to the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's understanding that everything is, val is valuable and that there's not right and there's not wrong. It's yeah. a bit. 
But I think the mistake, actually, when you say everybody, it's not everybody individually, no, or, or in isolation, not this person and that person. It's the people in, in some kind of interactive kind of capacity, something of, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I take it ragged about ragged is mainly to do with people meeting up. That's the kind of basic idea. Like, whole notion of a meet up. They've got some kind of, yeah. Well, in the, in the days actually that I did on common sense, my idea of common sense is that knowledge is a community. Yeah, 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 in in these conversations, I I get I I always get uh, get a little bit wiser. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, the really is. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, conversations are really yes. I mean, they're, 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 they're the essence of everything, really. I mean, yes, without a conversation, ideas uh, come. Without yeah. the conversation, at least the people who are kind of they the same. But please, they got they got me reading the. Probably seen some VM fight actually. So halfway through it. The the rank of library, yeah. I mean I ideally people will take take the books they like and develop them. Yeah. And and hang yeah. over the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, so this year we've got our uh, film and curry lights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, mm. And it was it was being carried for by by the 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 the, the work power meetings. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it was like just uh, I, I, there was few people there. I, I signed in and Michelle, I think, said, Yeah, is there room for just conversational people? Yes, sir. I I've been thinking about it. So Serenity Cafe, I'm gonna cook a large pot of that a large pot of dal. Uh, Everybody gets a curry. Yeah. We sit down, watch a film, yeah. and then we have a chat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the first one uh, is on twenty uh, sixth of this month, uh-huh. and we're going to be watching the first part of the Corporation. One. I don't know that. Oh, it's cracking. Um, so the Corporation it, it documents the history of the Corporation as a legal entity, mm-hmm. and then the Joe Backer, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it is it's a long term project mm-hmm. that analyzes the effects that what corporations are doing and the effects they're having in our world. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, as a, a social commentary, as, as, a, as an economic commentary, as, 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 a, as a snapshot mm-hmm. into our age, mm-hmm. it, it's won 26 different film awards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, various documentaries throughout the years on, like, uh, well, Orwell Rules in His Grave. These are uh, journalists who are talking about how the distribution networks mm-hmm. are so narrow. Mm-hmm. And then, they're, then as Investigative journalists yeah. are feeling frustrated. Yeah. Uh, got, uh, it's very easy to put on film. And it would be lovely if you, you came along. What day today? Uh, 27. Yeah. But there's one, one a month. Yeah. To, 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 let, give me, can, can you send the, this file on 20 minutes together? Yeah. Can I, can I, give me some dates and things so I can then decide what to do. About, I mean, we've got my diary here at the moment, but basically, yes, if you can do that. Well, I, I, I'll send you all the and uh, I, yeah, I, I bumped into Simon, uh, yeah, yeah. and he, he was actually out talking about pizza. Yes, he would be, yes, yeah, yeah. So I got to see him, well, uh, I happened to be, I, I, I did a presentation at the uh, University of Manchester Policy, yeah. and I, uh, I, I then hung around mm-hmm. and I, I also recorded some other presentations. Mm-hmm. There was a brilliant one uh, by uh, a guy who teaches bureaucrats in Brussels, mm-hmm. Professor uh, British, he, he deconstructed Q Yeah, yeah. And he's breathtaking. Yeah. He's breathtaking. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's on the website. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing. I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, 
really enjoying being able to connect, being able to indicate the history all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Um, it's coming up. It's great. Mm. Uh, I've been playing this part before. That's nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just twenty two. <laughs> Uh, one quarter to five, I see that. Well, what time is it? It's ten to four. Ten to four. Ten to four, yeah. You haven't, because the clocks went forward a couple of hours, weeks ago. I, I'm assuming, uh, I, I think this is all right. I <laughs> think. <laughs> right. Well, that's the according to me. That's true. That's just real. <laughs> so, if there's not any really events you'd like to run, that's why. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 so, like, for six on that one, right? mm -hmm. I'm quartered four on that. I think it's a quarter four. That's a good. <laughs> Yeah, you know, then, 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 I, 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 for some reason, I just don't have a proper. I, I should have really worked this out, but if you could just put mention one or two dates anyway, that I could then yeah. have thoughts about that would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, the other thing I was going to ask you about is, is, is um, the, the, my talk, projected talk, in the, the, uh, at the, 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 the Rugby University. I'm very happy to do. That we'd like to do that, and I could indeed only talk about common sense. Um, if, if, if needed, obviously. Now, the, the, the question I mean, there's all sorts of possibilities about that. I, would, would the people who come along to it, I suppose some of them would be the same as the people who came to it. I talked last time. Yeah, some, yeah. yeah, that's okay. So, no, it's just that the black runs out, runs out one possibility, which is that. One obvious possibility is to do the same job twice, but that's what it's still, especially if you know, it can be there. But, but if somebody else has heard of it, then it would be of interest to maybe to hear tell me that now. No, is that you're welcome to be here. The next possibility then would be to. I, I've been actually trying to write something about the notion of common sense. It's been in context this, this, this yeah. I mean, recently. And so I should draw upon what I've been trying to write about. That's a possibility. I haven't really thought, thought about it. Depends how it yeah, I haven't finished doing that, so it depends how it, how it goes. Um, or I could talk about something else, but something related. I mean, the one possibility that does seem dead relevant is indeed um, Adam Smith's theory of moral sentiments, um, which I... I haven't looked at for a while, but I do know quite in some detail, you know, and, and I've written various things, all of which are on my website, actually, about Adam Smith and things like that. From, like, yeah. So there's stuff that could be sort of used in, that in some kind of way there. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I could talk about Adam Smith more generally, but I don't know. I mean, I'd like to try to, we can find stuff here about the theory of moral sentiments. I'd like to keep the emphasis of being on very moral sense rather than the wealth of nations. But I mean, everybody knows a bit about that. So I'm thinking about that. I'm going to go back to try and shift the emphasis of the discussion more to the theory of moral sense. And I could certainly tell you and people in, on the and people in Ragged what um, bits of the, the theory of moral sentiment are, are, I think, the most rewarding to look at. You know, it's just, because of, not a forbidding look, it's a long, rambling kind of book, but there's some bits in it that are really stand out in, in, in particular. Well, yeah. no, you see, again, I, I have every bit, you, you are the master of the throat. But to give you an idea, so last year, uh, Kieran wanted to you know, use lots of stuff he wanted to talk about. And so he did three bits. Mm -hmm. It depends. Would you like to do more than one? Would you like so you could bring people back and bring people into different worlds? Uh, you, you are most welcome. Yeah. My my job is not to choose, and I, I would much rather you chose what you wanted. Okay. Because uh, you know, I I find even. I mean, we, we, we revisit topics in yeah. conversations we have. Yeah. So I don't think 
even doing the same part, yeah. it's it always stimulated. So I I can't really huge amount of games. <laughs> well, another question, which is not related, is what what sort of date roughly are you are you thinking? The last Thursday of each month. Uh, but have you any particular month? Uh, it's all pretty open because I, I, apart from uh, this month and next month, uh, uh, there are slots throughout the year. That's right. Um, I mean, and I, I can send you a list of the, the, the slots and dates. Well, if you did, I tell you what, if, if, if you're sending me, uh, 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 if you're sending me this. File, which is a, 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 and also with, with one or two dates yep. of other things. You could add in some open dates that I could choose from uh, for for a stop. Can we? Can we? Yeah. And I, I think actually, when I think about it, that's something that um, I think makes more sense. Just funny, as funny, I can I wouldn't mind going back and thinking and looking at it and. Um, I thought it was actually indeed the, the, the theory of moral sentiment. Uh, which is, it's funny that we haven't talked about this before because it's, it's still relevant to what, um, to what we've been, been saying. At least in my, the way I interpret the theory of moral sentiment, it's really relevant. I think it's an absolutely key. I think it's the key to Smith. I don't know I can make out in his first and last work. Yeah, well, I mean, you mean, you, Two books, two moral sentiments and the uh, wealth of nations. Yeah. Yeah, so, but but those are just two main, it's two published books. Yeah. So, but but he 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 found another word, but he don't destroy all of those uh, oh. rules. He, he, yes, he, 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 he returns to the theory of soft moral sentiments to, at the end of his life to make sure the manuscript was. I, I, he published altogether, I think, six. Editions of the theory of moral sentiment, yes. and they um, the, 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 the last one, the sixth edition, he certainly has new material, a lot of new material in. Um, and he was also talking about uh, writing, or seems to have been writing, I'm uh, quite thinking about um, a further book on something like, or something about natural jurisprudence, or something like. Natural jurisprudence or something like that, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't, nobody really knows how to evaluate that idea. I mean, to what extent he was seriously planning to do that. But certainly, he burned a lot of his papers at the end of life, and people, academic, you know, the scholars are rather keen to say, "Oh, that he destroyed his study." We don't know what he destroyed. Yeah. He might have destroyed his his, his own. Personal letters, <laughs> or, or I mean, the enemy's got heaps of paper they might want to get. Yeah, so, um, and then of course, the discussions about to what extent he changed his views in different editions of the Wealth of Nations, uh, sorry, different editions of the Theory of Moral Sentiment. Yeah, the, 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 the edition six, substantially different from edition one. and. Yeah, well, oh yeah, everybody's been through all the different kind of possible possible things. Yeah, it's, it's a guesswork. Isn't it? It's a guesswork thing. It, it really is. But uh, in any case, I mean, what I, 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 I'll, what I'm very happy to do is to, to talk about the, the themes in the theory of moral sentiments that I see as being most in, most important, and um, that's the notion of interaction and seeing yourself with others. See you. Uh, 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 we were talking about earlier in the afternoon, and I can certainly, as a kind of um, postscript, I mean, like in the talk, I could sort of say, well, from my view of, the, of how that relates to the wealth of nations is the following, but that's, you know, that's a different discussion. I'm not really going to go into, the, into that in a lot of detail, but I, I could sort of, I don't mind. I mean, but one of my kind of open, Ended way, well, sort of, sort of chatty way of kind of thing. Like, I don't mind explaining to you what my view is, but but but, but we are not necessarily going to promise to defend every word of it. But you have the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. So 
So yes, I don't want to be held. To, I don't want to get involved in. If somebody wants to go on about the invisible hand, I can certainly tell them what to think about it. But I'm not. I, I don't want to spend the afternoon discussing that. And I want to talk about it here in Wilton. Well, obviously, for me, if you speak more, when somebody's yeah. come to share, it's always you to listen, right? Yeah, rather than to speak. All right, okay. Uh, so, but but you know, this sort of thing happens. I mean, like things. I was looking at some of the stuff in the website. In the, 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 the Ragged University web, website, which were comments on my talk on common sense. Yeah? Really? Yes, yeah, so the, well, yeah, so there's uh, some. Uh, with, I, think, I think it's the bit where you ask people when they're planning to come along to a meeting or something. Oh, on meetup. On meetup, yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and somebody had got into the whole business about whether. Someone said that Adam, Adam, Adam read, Thomas Reed's view of common sense is based on religion. Now, this is actually perfectly true. And I know exactly what line in Reed's scholarship is involved here. Um, but it was being used really to kind of say, well, that, that's what's wrong with common sense, is that it's based, it, it, of course, it's based, it based on sense, this notion of, 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 of religion. And I don't think that really is, but it's kind of, in, in Reed's present presentation, I think it, it has a big theological input into the way he talks about common, common sense. Um, but that was a kind of, that's the sort of thing that somebody, you can imagine, it didn't happen in the meeting, but you can imagine somebody doing that in the meeting. They say, ah, well, it's about, and they've got some um, hobby horse about, about it, and they just go on about, about that. I remember giving an evening, it was just an example of the same kind of thing. I remember doing an evening class on it, and we years and years ago about Karl Marx, and every time I mentioned the notion of alienation, was, and I used the example advisedly, that's the way you can compare um, steam engines, which are everybody likes, with, with um, diesels that nobody likes at all. So that's, a, you see, that's an alienation. I really shouldn't have used that example, because somebody got into it, and every time the notion of alienation is not mentioned, this oldish chap, a really nice old bugger, can <laughs> you tell us about about steam engines and and diesels <laughs> and the whole discussion? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. Part of my I so part of my job is I I is yeah. when that when those yeah. skills happen to go well. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we just yeah. <laughs> no, we invited somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, why do we do summer and then do a little flower? Because you want to do like that. You want to do like this. Yes, exactly. That's fine. So we've got, I've got that clear in my mind. We'll be, we'll, I will do something talking about, about the theory more often. But, but if you send me on about a notification of dates, then I can I can, you know, try, I can decide what they. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll send that off. Yeah. yeah. Like I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm yeah. uh, uh, this year is going to be quite costly. I'm putting a lot into it. So you know, everybody wants to do to learn anything computer. Aha! <laughs> That's nothing. I need some. Doing IT and biscuits. IT and biscuits. Oh, you know. Why is somebody talking about confusion? I know, I'm going to be much more of a classroom workshop. So you bring along your laptop, <laughs> and I will teach you how to set up your laptop. So if you want to do security, make your website, email, Twitter, Facebook, the whole nine yards. And I'm going to have tea and biscuits. Well, one thing which can be quite useful to guide a lot of people, I, I know I've just got a feeling of this, setting, people setting up their own websites. Yeah. Um, I can find a lot of reasons for one thing, that partly political reasons, partly to do with quite specific things, mental health issues, I don't know what. But, you know, but, but, I, mean, I, I don't know how to set up a website. Well, it is possible to do it, you know, it's through Word. Or it is, and this is what, what I've been doing. I, I, 
think folks is too much to pay people to do it. If you can use Microsoft Office, yeah. I can teach you how to create your own. And uh, yeah, the WordPress is really good with us. It's going to be around for you for the future. And there are two things here, right? So um, if you want to be to pay for your own post, I can also help people get there without any cost. And uh, of course, I paid for the hosting package and like that three to thirteen people yeah. with websites. But in, in I can take all the basically producing a book. Yeah. I can show people how to type set it and when it, you know, you can, like, we can produce this for under 200 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. every copy of that. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, same thing with WordPress. And I've been saying this to the Philosophy of the Lane. Very happy to pass on, mm -hmm. and they're way more intelligent than those meetings for WordPress. It's a double. Mm -hmm. It's basically. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, behind the curtain, there's an old guy with a dog. <laughs> yeah. He dares a cruel job. Yeah. Um, and it took me like four years to find this out. And now I'm going like, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's commercial information. I want, yeah, yeah. behind the curtain, come on in, sit down, yeah. copy this. You paste it there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's so Yeah, yeah. Uh, Britain's really good at being fastidiously sort of yeah. with with. Oh, I can set myself up as the go-to consultant. Yeah. And I just go like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're the go-to consultant about. The digital divide. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I frankly, for all the people who have spoken this up, it's a very good Yeah. I'm uh, very happy to tell everybody in my best treat. Or if you uh, just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have any particular needs at the moment because I do have a web. I won't say webmaster, but whatever. Um, somebody called Amanda Jones who lived just well, recently, actually. But, but um, the, um, I, I, I do pay her to. But, but it's, it's not actually that expensive once you once the thing is set up. You then, the, the actual management costs are very small. And the only thing is that she's beginning to take a bit of time to do things because she's now got a, a full time job as well, which suggests that it's not actually, as you say, an awful lot of work. Not yet involved in actually managing websites, you can do it. And that's and that's and the paragraph here, yeah. the page there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Click add new page, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, image here, text there, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I still so, go back five years and it was a more technical, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. this code and that. Now it's it's well, word testing. I've made it a bit like words for uh, uh, Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure things are getting easier. Yeah, let's let's go on. Yeah, I was just I, I, that 